The Georgian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the GCCI, will not call for the revocation of broadcast licenses issued just days before former President Barra Jagdeo left office, but is in favor of a re-examination of the process used. Former President, um, I wouldn't call or we wouldn't call for the revocation of those licenses that were issued, but we would call for a review, um, a reassessment of those licenses that were issued from the Broadcast Authority. Uh, to take a second look and to determine based on a set of criteria that they have based on the, uh, the act and the law whether or not those companies that were issued those licenses uh, would have done so on fair and equitable terms in terms of meeting all the requirements of the license and also to review some of the other applicants. With an abundance of information and debate on the issue in the press, both locally and internationally, Orling said that to call for a complete revocation could be extreme. Part of the reasons, well, part of the reason why, um, for us, going now and revoking the license without even offering an examination from the broadcast authority, some companies would have invested significant funds in terms of developing um, their radio stations, their television stations, whatnot, and it was no fault of theirs whether or not the former president acted transparently or accountable. Um, the fault lies with the state. And we don't penalize or we shouldn't penalize the private sector companies who have already gone out there and invested significant sums for that mistake. Because I'm pretty sure if it happens, um, you'll see some litigation coming from some private sector companies towards the state. Several individuals and media houses have been up in arms over the manner in which those licenses were issued with the matter reaching the High Court. Former Speaker of the National Assembly and former PPP Central Executive Member Ralph Ramkran in one of his online blogs, has called for the licenses to be withdrawn to ease the controversy. For Capital News, Roll Collin.